in case you've forgotten, it's football season. A bye week coupled with yet another postponement due to COVID-19 has kept the Bears off the field for almost two weeks. That prolonged break will come to an end on Saturday, though, when Baylor will travel south to Austin to take on Texas. I think it's business as usual. I feel like the, you know, there's, a, there's excitement coming back, uh, for sure. But then it, it is you know, owning the process, man. It is doing all the ordinary things at an extraordinary level. You know, we call that the Baylor standard. The Bears' time off isn't the only intriguing storyline in this matchup. Baylor quarterback Charlie Brewer and Texas quarterback Sam Ellinger have a long history of squaring off against each other. On top of the two Austin area quarterbacks' collegiate meetings, Brewer's Lake Travis Cavaliers and Ellinger's Westlake Shaps met a total of five times while the two were in high school, with Brewer and Lake Travis winning all five matchups. We've been playing against each other, I guess, probably since like Pop Warner, so... Um, getting to know him throughout the years. You know, he's a really good guy, obviously a really good football player, but it's always competitive. I think both of us are competitors. You know, I think we're both ready to go compete this weekend. Ellinger and the Longhorns offense are averaging nearly 500 yards of total offense per game, with 317 of those yards coming through the air. Baylor's defense seems to be up for the challenge, though. Even in their limited sample size, the Bears' defense is only allowing around 20 points a game, while ranking 17th in the nation in yards allowed per game. Texas's offense is, is very skilled, and uh, they do a lot of great things well. But from our you know standpoint of things, I think the most important thing is us just being tough, us you know getting to the ball and putting our hat on it. If all 11 run to the ball, you know there might be a couple mistakes, but we're gonna depend on our brothers to be right there to help us out. Kickoff is at 2.30 on Saturday, and you'll be able to catch the game on ESPN. For Larry at TV News, I'm Nate Smith.